Hello everybody, welcome back to another taste test and greetings from Honolulu. Yes, we are here in Honolulu. On this video, we're going to be trying out a variety of food that we got from the local 7-Eleven right here in Hawaii. 7-Eleven Hawaii has a lot of goodies, so we can't wait to get into it. So today we're here at my sister's home. My mother and my sister is in the house relaxing while we get to work with the taste test. Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very, very looking forward to the variety of foods from 7-Eleven Hawaii. Yes, and you know what? They had a lot of selections. Yeah. We only got some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we mm -hmm. got like maybe one third of the selections they had. I really surprised. Me too. And one big thing I surprised that mm -hmm. There are so many spam musubi. So many. <laughs> so many spam musubi. And, and they have different varieties. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we got the original spam musubi today, but they also have a teriyaki one. They have a fried one. They even had a uh, mochiko chicken. Onigiri. That's onigiri. Sorry. Oh, we didn't get any onigiri today. They, we got 10 selections for you guys. And let's begin. Okay. First one is Shinichi's mother's favorite. Oh, yeah. Sushi, roll sushi. sushi and corn sushi. It's inari sushi in Japanese. This one is inari sushi in Japanese. It's, but it is called corn sushi in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is roll type sushi. Maki sushi. Maki sushi. Right. Now it's a little bit different from the maki sushi you find in Japan. This is the local style shoyu tuna. And oh, shoyu tuna. Yeah. And, and you'll find that the inari sushi also tastes a little bit different, I think if I can remember correctly. But anyway, let's try. Let's try the, the maki sushi. So this maki sushi has shoyu tuna, cucumber, carrots, and tamagoyaki. Dewa, itadakimasu. Let's begin feast. Let's begin. Mm. 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 You see, it is a little bit different, right? Tastes like maki sushi, but a little bit different. Maybe because of the shoyu tuna inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they they make very good sushi rice. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. Shoyu tuna, mm. shoyu tuna is very unique for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something you definitely don't find in Japan. Mm. Very very nostalgic for me. So let's try the inari sushi. Mm -hmm. So this is inari sushi, corn sushi, wrapped with deep fried tofu, and there are some carrot pieces on the inside, and I. Do I see a little bit of sesame seeds? I, I think so. Sesame know. seeds. Okay. Some sesame seeds. Some sesame seeds, yeah. Mm. Mm. It's very mm. similar to the Jap mm. Japan mm. one. Mm. Mm. Maybe uh, lighter. Right, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 But overall, <clears throat> it's well done. Mm. Mm. Surprise, really surprise, good. surprise. Me too. Mm. I understand why. Your mother mm. loves this. Yeah, I completely forgot how corn sushi tasted in Hawaii. That's not bad. All right, moving on. We are trying the empanadas. Empanadas. Yeah, this is something we don't have in mm. our 7-Eleven mm. Japan. Mm. And I don't, I don't, don't know, know what, what is. is empanadas. Me neither. I've heard of it before. Um, this one has, um, what is it, ham and cheese? I don't remember. So this looks like a deep fried something. Pie? Filled with something I forgot. Mm. It smells like Mexican a little bit. Mm. 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 A little salty, but is it salty to you? A little bit salty. Or maybe spicy, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Well, spice is stronger than salt for me. Okay. Well, overall, it's mm. good. It and is. There are there are many hot snacks mm -hmm. at the counter, mm -hmm. which I don't know. <laughs> There's something called taquitos. I've had it like at a restaurant in LA. I would like to try the one at 7 Eleven. I never had it. They also had a corn dog. Yeah. Right? Yeah, corn dog. I want to try that one. And they also had um, spring rolls as well. That's right. They yeah. made bigger, the yeah. Japanese one. Yeah, mm. but this is definitely something that you don't find in uh, Japan. Uh, they're using chili, some other spices. Oh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, it, it does have, it has a slight kick mm. to it. Mm. Mm. I don't like it mm. because it's something we don't have. Mm. 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 So next one is shumai, and I do not know the name. It's pork hash. Pork hash. Mm. Oh, pork hash. Yeah, 
and they had three different varieties. They had the original, they had, I forgot the other one, but this one is the jalapeno pork hash. I've never tried jalapeno shumai. Me neither. I have heard that the, the shumai or the siumai in 7 Eleven is pretty good. Yeah, I've read online. Really? Yeah, so I'm kind of excited to try. Takimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's <laughs> mm. It's different from Japanese stew, my mm. It's more Chinese. Mm. Mm. It has it's like Chinese tasty. spices. Very tasty. Mm. And you can taste the jalapeno. It yeah. has a little kick. Mm. Mm. Not too spicy. Oh, good flavor. Surprise, surprise, mm, surprise. Very surprised. Mm. Oh, oh, that. Okay. I found something I really mm. like. Mm. <laughs> I want to try another flavor. <laughs> Me too. Mm. The next one is something that you know I've been really looking forward to. I've been dying to eat. It's the Manapua. And yeah, you come to Hawaii to eat this one. I sure do. And this is the first time uh, on this trip. And it's not going to be the last. Uh, they also had different types of manapua. They had a curry manapua, they had another one, but of course we have to get the original mm -hmm. one. Yeah, when you open it up, there's a lots of um, char siu on the inside, char siu meat. I'm yeah. surprised at this color. Yeah, it's red. Yeah, It's red. <laughs> Very different from our nikuman in Japan, which is more Japanese than Chinese, I think. Yeah, but anyway. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, we warmed it up in the <laughs> microwave. Ah, uh, itadakimasu. Mm. Mmm. 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 Buns are fluffy. Mmm. 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 Oh, the spice. Mmm. Mmm. Chinese spice. Mmm. Uh, this one is different from the the one I used to buy from Char Hang Set, which is no longer in business. That one, the meat is shredded, mm. whereas this one is more like chunks of meat, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's actually pretty good. Mm. You know? And that's a sweetness too. Mm hmm. Uh, and, and the bun. The mm. bun part is really nice and fluffy. Mm. It's soft. Mm. It's not dry. Mm. Mm. Manapua mas Meister approved. 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 I approve. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with this one. Of course, I gotta get a couple of more from different places. Okay, so the next one is a bento. This is the pork adobo with fried rice and egg bento. Yeah, so this is like a like a fusion of uh, Filipino and Chinese uh, flavors, I think. I remember pork adobo. Yeah, me too. Mm, I like pork adobo. Me, I love pork adobo. I haven't had it in a while. Mm. Okay, so really looking forward to this. Okay, let's try. Uh, what are you gonna try first? You gonna try the pork? Pork. Okay, let's try the pork. Mm -hmm. With rice. Mmm. Mmm. Really nice flavor. The vinegar, the pork. Yeah, vinegar works very well. Yeah. And I can taste. Some kind of spice. Mm. Uh, maybe it's pepper. I don't know. Pepper. It's peppery. Peppery, but mm. some kind of close to Chinese spice. Really? Mm. No? Mm. 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 I don't know. Mine's so good. I like pork adobo because they simmer it in, I think it's with soy sauce, maybe mm. garlic, and vinegar. And I, and I think the vinegar makes it taste very mm. good. Mm. The vinegar. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, vinegar. Vinegar is really important, I think, mm -hmm. for adobo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try um, a little bit of the fried rice as well as the uh, egg. The egg. Hmm. Mm. The egg is like scrambled egg. Yeah. Nice and fluffy. Mm. Fried rice texture. Yeah. Mm. It's good. It has good flavor. Mm. It's not. <laughs> yeah, not soggy. Not soggy. Mm. It's paraparato. Mm. Paraparato means separate each each kind as a separated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it matches really well with the pork adobo mm. and the egg. Mm. Okay, this is a winner right here. So next one is pork and peas bowl. Mm. Mm. I read that this is also like a Filipino dish. Oh, I see, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah, they have the menu online. Mm -hmm. So on top of rice, mm. there is a pork, beans, and it's a bell pepper. Bell pepper. bell pepper, yeah, bell, bell pepper, pepper and peas and peas, yeah, yeah, no beans, uh, no beans, peas, yeah. peas, <laughs> that's right, yeah. peas, and it's served over rice mm -hmm. with this wonderful gravy. It smells really nice. Tomato sauce? I don't know. Maybe, maybe let's try. It's first time for us. Hmm. I wonder what this is. What this dish is called in uh, the Philippines? Mm. I'm sure it's not called pork and peas. 
Mmm. 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 That's almost like a comforting taste to me. Yeah, it's like a pork stew. What do you think? Pork stew. I think it's just tomato. Tomato. Mm. Yeah. It has a little bit of tanginess. Mm -hmm. mm. The tanginess works very nice with mm -hmm. this pork. Mm -hmm. And this bitter pepper gives a great, very nice accent. Nice flavor. Mm. Yeah. Once again, the rice is cooked cook really, really well. Yeah. The gravy is super flavorful. Mm. Um, the onions also mm. give it nice sweetness. Mm. All right, next what we have is Spam Musubi. Spam Musubi is like so iconic. So iconic of Hawaii. And it's funny though, because when I was a kid, I never ate Spam Musubi. Really? Yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't like Spam. <laughs> oh. It's only when I became an adult for some reason. But uh, the, you can find Spam Musubi all over the island. But uh, they say that the 7-Eleven Spam Musubi is one of the really good ones. Yeah, and I have to agree with them. Okay, so we got the original Spam Musubi. Like I mentioned, they do have teriyaki as well. Okay, so we cut this in half. Usually, uh, you would eat it you know, with the wrapper so you don't get your hands dirty. But we're sharing this one today because we have a lot of food. Anyway, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's a little bit hot. We warmed it up in the microwave. <laughs> Mmm. 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 That's delicious. Oh, that looks good. Now, whenever I come to Hawaii, I have to have this family soupy at least once. I think the sauce is soy sauce. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce combines rice and this is palm very nicely. Mm -hmm. The texture of rice mm. is good. Mm. It's mm. very good. It's very good. And the nori, the mm. nori seaweed. Yeah. Reminds me of onigiri. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, that sliver of spam. So good. Adds the right amount of flavor, mm. right amount of saltiness to the rice. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Like perfect picnic food or anytime food for mm. that matter. This spam flavor mm. and rice flavor mm -hmm. is a really good friend. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. That's so good. Mm. So, next one is one of my favorite Hawaiian local food. Karua pork and cabbage bento. Yes, I like karua pork and cabbage. Sometimes I cook at home. Karua pork. Karua pork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not so good at it. So I'm very, very looking forward to try this one. Yes, from 7 try. Eleven. Yeah. Mm. I like how they have bentos here at the Hawaii 7 Eleven. It's really nice. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Hmm. This is um smokier than I'm used to. Mm -hmm. It's smoky flavor. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good actually. This is good. It is. Maybe. It is. I don't know kara pork is smoky or not. Mm. This one is good. This smoky one is good. It is. Mm. It really is. Mm. I, I do like the um original uh, Kalua pork that you have at the Hawaiian restaurant. They're very simple version i think it's delicious mm. but this is good too mm. i like it i like it mm. for me this is a little bit different from the original because of how smoky it is mm. the mm. cabbage is a little bit sorry <laughs> is it really <laughs> but mm. overall mm. it's good mm. rice is always good mm -hmm. mm. yeah mm. okay for for me um that's a winner mm. too mm. i'm gonna mm. have a hard time deciding my favorite today hmm all right, now we also got noodles for you guys. Um, they have ramen, tonkotsu ramen. Tonkotsu they also ramen. had pho, uh, and they also saimin. had saimin. Mm -hmm. But we got the local style udon, udon. Mm. which is very interesting. It's like, what is local style udon? Yeah, I want to compare it with Japanese udon. Yeah. So this one, when you open it, you don't see the soup, but once it's microwave, magically, magically. the soup appears. <laughs> yes. Wow, where this soup comes from? <laughs> I know, I know. And this one has kamaboko, green onions, and char siu. Mm, char siu is very unique. It's very for me. unique. For yeah. me too. <laughs> it looks like simon almost. Mm, mm. So give it a try first. Dozo. Itadakimasu. Sip soup first. Mm. Oishii. Oishii. Mm. It's, it's similar to Japanese udon soup. Is it? But Something is different. What is different? Another flavor. Mm. Oh, it is similar to udon soup. Yeah, good dashi broth, bonito flakes, kombu seaweed, I think, mm. but using other thing, pork. 
but it is it does remind me of Hawaii it reminds me of the Japanese food I used to eat when I was a kid in Hawaii like when I went to a Japanese restaurant here it reminds me of that so the kanji okay try the noodles okay noodles oh, good lots of umami and it's a little bit maybe on the sweet side huh mm-hmm. reminds me of like Kansai mm-hmm. udon mm. Mm-hmm. how about the noodles The noodles mm. look a little bit different too. They're mm. thinner, I think. Thinner mm. and a little bit too softer. Mm-hmm. But I don't yeah. know. Uh, it's microwave. Mm. Um, it, it took a little bit of time from we bought. It's a little chewy too. Chewy. Mm-hmm. But it is udon noodles. Udon noodles. Yeah, yeah. udon noodles. The, 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 the feel of it is like yeah. udon noodles. A little bit thinner, but mm. udon noodles flavor. Mm. Mm. I like it because of how different it is. to the udon we eat in Tokyo. Mm, mm, mm. 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 I don't know how you describe it, but it's very comforting, it's flavorful, and it's well balanced, I think. Mm. So as always, we have to finish with dessert, and we got something called chocolate halpia tarts from Ube. And I like halpia. Yeah, me too. And, and this is local too, you know? And um, let's give it a try. So these look like uh, tarts, kind of like tarts. Mm, tarts. Mm. But inside, the white part it must be halpia. Halpia, and maybe the inside there's ube. Ube. Okay. Mm. Chocolate? Mm. Chocolate. Wait a minute. What? Chocolate or halpia tarts? Chocolate, halpia tarts. Mm. Oh, okay. What am I thinking? I'm thinking ube. This yeah. is not <laughs> ube. This yeah. is chocolate. This is company is ube. Mm. So. Mm, our image is a bit. Mm, oh. Good. Mm. I love how it is. Oh, much better than I imagined again. I But don't. Mm. I want a more healthy coconut tea taste. Really? Oh, oh yeah. I, I can understand. But oh, I like this. It's mm. chocolatey mm. and the, the tart part is soft and nice. It's not dry. Like, like you, I, I do wish it was a little bit more coconut flavor. But overall, it's pretty good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow, I'm so glad we did this because I've discovered a lot of new things from the Hawaii 7 Eleven. I really, really did. Okay, so since we have finished, mm-hmm. it is time to choose some of our favorites. Okay. Okay. Mm. I want to choose a bento. Okay. We had three bento. Yes, we had. Yes, yeah. we did. Mm-hmm. Mm, oh my goodness. I don't know which Still, I am thinking. Still, I'm thinking. Mm. Bento are very good. I've chosen. I've chosen. <laughs> Which was your favorite? Okay, mm. I chose pork adobo with fried rice and egg bento. Oh, okay, so that's your number one favorite. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my number one favorite is the chocolate halpia tarts. Oh, the last one. The last one. Oh, it was, it was really good. I love this one. I want to get it again. How, how about number two? Number two. Mm. So please, you choose first. I choose first. Wow, okay. My second favorite, I mean, I do have to say it's the, uh, the Spam Musubi is my second favorite for sure. And my third favorite, I'm just going to go for it. My third favorite is the Jalapeno Siu Mai, the pork hash. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. I the Siu Mai is good. It was really good. I mean, the bentos were really good. Mm. Everything was good today, but I got to say those three really stood out. I choose the pork and peas bowl. Wow, really? <laughs> That's your second favorite? Yeah. And what would be your third? Third. Spam musubi. Spam musubi. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but this was a lot of fun and you know, it makes me want to try uh, the other offerings at Hawaii 7-Eleven. They really do have a lot of delicious looking things there. They also have some breads from the bread sections. I think they have like a Filipino style bread that has things like ensamada as well. Yeah, there's so many things yeah. to try. There are so many dishes. More than I expected. Me too. Me too. I think they have more now mm. than when we last came here. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Happy that we tried this out. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which ones were your favorite? Please jot them down as well. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye. And mahalo for watching. Mahalo.